I'm gonna have to cut this edge that your friends put in. You mean that edge that's hanging over nothing over there and it's not supported by a beam? Yes. Oh no. Betsy's eating snowballs food. I got snowballs some diet cat food. But apparently it's got something in it to make cats want to eat it because apparently they wouldn't want to eat it because it's diet. So they have some kind of really strong smelling fish in it and the other cats won't leave Snowball alone and let her eat it on her own. Snowball's like, what happened to my food? Snowball's just like sitting there not eating, just looking over to the side. Snowball! Snowball! Do the other cats eat your special food? Maybe she's getting fat, so she's going on the diet. And just like Francella, once I gave Francella the prescription diet, she stopped wanting to eat normal cat food. I've only given Snowball the low-fat cat food like twice. And she already doesn't want to eat the normal cat food. She's like, no, that's my special food. I only want my special food. Here's my special cat food area. There's Snowball's diet dry food. A can of diet canned food that I got for her from the vet that I haven't fed to her yet. There's Frincella's prescription diet. And there's New Moon's distilled water. And a bag of, like, expensive cans and pouches that I've been giving to her besides her normal cat food. And this came in yesterday from Amazon. This is two cases of that solid gold New Moon blend. This is going to be New Moon's special food. <laughs> so whenever Francella gets her prescription diet and Snowball gets her diet food and New Moon gets her extra can, she's going to get one of these. I'm putting on my new shoes, but I'm not going to wear them outside. I'm going to change into my old shoes when I go outside. I was just going to mop the floor in here and stuff, and I wanted to be wearing shoes. But my old shoes got soaking wet last night when I was walking in room C in the mud. <laughs> and they're still not dry, so when I put them on, my socks got wet. And then I had to change my socks, so then I decided to put on one of my two new pairs of shoes. These are the ones I got at Ross's. See that? They're kind of bigger and bulkier than the shoes I normally wear. But at least they don't feel too tight on my feet. I hear all kinds of noise coming from room C. Did you hear that boom boom? That's something going on in room C, some kind of construction. So I'm going to drink some hot tea, and then I'm going to go outside and see what's going on in room C right now. Yeah, this time. What are you hitting with that? What's going on? I need to move my other hand. Flip off it, see what happens. Yeah, see it? Lift it up. It's because the cool. floor isn't even no, underneath. No, it's because it. I'm not nailing it down yet. Oh, okay. Because I heard in the background, don't nail it. For some reason. Oh, you can start to nail it down now. Okay. I just didn't want you to cover this. I wanted to take a picture of it. I think I think I get done, man. Oh no. The sawing is making the lights flicker in here. Uh, good day. Travel around. That's not too easy. You can see those three trees on top of the snowy mountain there. My dreads are like inside my sweater. Okay, people, the construction has come to a halt again. 
but this time it has come to a halt because my friend's ride showed up with their kid in the car and said, if you guys want to ride, we've got to go right now. So they have left. The sub four is about 50% installed or so in room C. Maybe a little bit more than that. Hopefully my boyfriend will be able to finish installing it the rest of the way. And by tomorrow morning, we will be ready to start installing the laminate floor in there. However, we have a problem. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it yet already. We don't have enough. Sorry, my boyfriend was screaming, hey, hey, because my bedroom door was open and all the cats were going in there. And I put everything in there that I don't want, like cat hair and stuff on. So that could have been a problem. But the reason that my door was open is because all of my doors have been popping open because of all of the drilling and moving beams around in room C has been shaking my entire house and causing doors to open, including the cabinet doors that lead to under my bathroom sink, my bedroom door, Eugene's bedroom door. Luckily, none of the exterior doors have opened because cats getting into the yard and getting hurt outside or something would be worse than them getting into my room and destroying my stuff, in my opinion. It's still raining outside, but the rain is letting up a little bit. But because my friends were painting around my door frames and my window frames, the smell of paint is like inundating my house a little bit. So I've got all of my fans running and all of my windows open. And because of that, I have my heater turned on in here and the electric heater running in Eugene's room. And it's basically kind of cold and breezy in here. And it still kind of smells like paint. So I'm thinking about cooking some food outside. It's drizzling a little bit, but the rain seems to be letting up. It might stop for long enough for me to cook. This, this home chef box, not this fire alarm. My friends were gonna help me put this up today. It's a kitchen fire alarm. It's supposed to not go off whenever you cook something because we fry a lot of meat in cast iron pans and we burned out a bunch of fire alarms because every time we started to cook, they would go off and then they would like stop working. So this is a special fire alarm that I ordered online. We will be putting it up in my kitchen, but because it still so much like paint in here, and because it's so breezy in here from all the windows being open and the fans being on, I was thinking of cooking this outside. I think I might even be wearing the same dress that I was wearing the last time I put the home chef meal outside. But I'm not sure. I actually might be wearing a similar dress. I recently bought two similar looking dresses. But they're not exactly the same. They're a little bit different from each other. So if my cats will let me, I will open this on camera and show you what they sent me. So they have sent me all of these ingredients for these two different recipes, chicken with beurre blanc and chicken Diane. Sorry, Marley is like biting my hand and attacking me because he smells the chicken. I drew the piece of cardboard that says quality ingredients below and underneath an ice pack, there is a bag of chicken and neither of the packages are leaking any blood. See that? And it looks like somewhat higher quality chicken than the chicken they sent me the last time. See, it's actually got some fat on it, maybe even possibly some skin. I can't tell. But it's not just the really, really lean chicken breast with no skin or fat on it that you can see on the other side. So one of the two pieces of chicken they sent me is a higher quality and they didn't send me two meals with the exact same kind of chicken. So that's good. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna cook first, but I am gonna put this in my fridge immediately. I have decided to make the Chicken Diane, which is chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans. And it actually has bone in and skin on chicken breasts, see that? Anyway, I'm going to put this recipe in my room in the folder they gave me to hold all of their recipes and then I'm going to cook this. But I just want to show you a video clip from another angle of the very cute thing that is going on right here. Roundabout. 
has decided that this box is just the perfect place to sit and look her fingers. But the problem is that inside of this box, there is an ice pack, which is probably the reason that she's getting out. She's probably like, it's getting really cold in here. My feet are on something really cold. There, I'm gonna remove the ice pack. And now she's going back into the box. She's like, oh, it's not so cold anymore. Okay, so this is my plan for how I want to finish the subfloor in room C. As you can see, the solid lines are what's already there, and the dotted lines are three potential ways that the rest of the subfloor could be laid down. This was my friend's plan, but I think it would work better like this or like this, depending on where the beams are. So, do you understand? Can you do that? Uh huh. I think okay. I understand. Okay, good. Just take this with you when you go in there, but try not to get it dirty. Because I've got like all kinds of plans and stuff written in this notebook. Okay, well, understand. you understand? Okay. As long as you understand, you can try to lay the sub four down and see like how it rests better. Like if the small pieces on this side or on that side, he's walking away, he's going in there. I guess he thinks he understands. Hopefully he does. How's it going in here? It looks like you've taken out some of the wood that my friends put in. I'm going to have to cut this edge that your friends put in. You mean that edge that's hanging over nothing over there that's not supported by a beam? Yes. What do we need again, Adrian? Milk? Meat. Yogurts. I see other things. <laughs> I guess your foot grew overnight. Ow! Ow! You mean loosen it up? They are going to go Ow! to the store while I work on my YouTube videos and do a load of laundry, including Eugene's jackets, which are all dirty. As you can see, he's wearing two sweaters, which both fit him, but don't both fit him like together very well. Stop moving your foot. Hey, if you want to go, you got to stop moving your foot. foot. Alright, you're staying here with mommy, I guess. Oh, be good. Alright, then be good. Did you get everything on my list? Almost. Almost. Let's see what you got. I see a toy car. A lady at Yuri could naturally give it to Eugene. Cool. Milk. It's A2 milk uh -huh. from a different brand. Well, I guess the phrase A2 milk isn't copyrighted. A ginger soda. Did you get a canned coffee? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh, one of these. Yogurt. Some celery. A tomato. Some cheddar cheese. Some cream cheese. Some rosemary buns. Gluten-free rosemary buns. This was not on my list, but these are very good. And some meat. Sixteen dollars? You might have to return this. Look, it's carne asada that's twelve ninety nine a pound. Sixteen dollars for this tiny little package of meat. What a rip off. Well, you bought it. Sorry. I thought it was six dollars and thirty cents. Well, it's sixteen dollars and thirty cents, so I guess you made a mistake. Should we return it or try it on camera and then try some like cheap carne asada from like Safeway or if there is one around here a Mexican meat market but I don't think there is a Mexican meat market I think there's only like Mexican grocery stores that sell packaged food but In your carne asada is really really cheap at Mexican meat markets yeah there's an actual Mexican meat market where they have like a butcher chopping up carne asada like paper thin and selling it for like a few dollars a pound in Eureka I think so 
Okay, because I've never seen one. I've only seen the like grocery store type Mexican stores that only sell like dry and canned food and, and maybe like a little tiny refrigerator with like a few things in it. If it exists, I will go shopping there and make a video about it. In Colorado I saw some. In Colorado I went to one and made a YouTube video about it. Some of them are wonderful there. Yes they are. It's from Crescent City, California? Yeah. Really? Really? That's local. I'm gonna try some of it on camera. Oh wow, it has fat in it. It, yeah. I turned it upside down in the store. It's like yellow too. Put it away, please. I think I just swallowed a big glob of like butter like milk fat. Mm. It tastes totally different than the A2 brand milk. Mm. You know it smells like Crescent City from here. Yeah, it does have an odor. Crescent City has a unique smell that I've never smelled anywhere else. Yeah, this has a really strong taste of something, like, kind of tastes salty. Maybe it's salty because it's like right next to the ocean. It kind of We're has that ocean. ocean air taste and odor. We're next to the ocean, but it doesn't smell like salty here, like it does in Crescent City. And that milk smells and tastes salty, like the ocean. It really reminds me of Crescent City, like the smell. I see cows all around in Crescent City whenever I go there. Mm. It tastes like, it smells like those cows. I think you can smell their parts from like miles away. A lot like of that. their parts. I want one of these with cream cheese and jam on it. I want to know which cat walked through the cast iron pan and then walked on the stove leaving black footprints on the stove. gave that to him. Yeah. As an old lady. They're old lady. That one's good. It's hot. Hey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That is very hot. Hotter than mine was. Far. The problem with this is that when I'm done eating this, these cats are going to have to move because I'm going to have to wash my hands. It's okay. How am I going to move them without getting jelly on them? Um, be I am editing a YouTube video. I'm about to have another video on YouTube. I have been able to put up at least one video a day for the last few days. And I'm actually making current videos now, which was my goal this year in the video I've recorded about my New Year's goals, but didn't put on YouTube. Oh no, the cat's knocking my phone over. Wombat, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Wombat. I am doing something really important right now. I'm making a YouTube video. The video I'm making right now is about a few different things. It's kind of about... Hang on a second. Somebody is calling my name. What's going on? It's an emergency, emergency. Come in here now. What's wrong? Is Eugene tangled up in his blanket and you need help getting him out? No, I need help on this game. This game? Yeah, this level's really hard.
As you begin this shrine, you'll notice a large amount of sphere receptacles on each side of him. Hang on, let me read it. As you begin the shrine, you'll notice the large amount of sphere receptacles on either side. An inscription on the stars above reads, Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. If you look straight ahead, in front of the inscription, the wall on the far side has constellations that match the ones to the left and right in front of the columns of sphere receptacles. Oh boy! <laughs> That's complicated. That's your emergency, huh? Okay, I'm not going to read that whole thing out loud right now, but I'm sure I can figure it out. What are you doing, Eugene? I'm here, Mama. Eugene, it's time for bed. You've got to say good night to the kitty. What? Say good night, Francella. I'm Say good night, Francella. No. I'm petting the kitty. Mama. That's Francella. You're petting Francella. tail. You like Francella's tail? There's her tail. Mama. That's a box, a box that we're using as a shelf for the kitties to sit on. My car, Mama. Yes, your car's on that shelf. Here, Gigi. Yeah, two kitties. Car, Mama. In my room. Maybe a kitty can come in your room yeah. if you're good and you go in your room and lay down in bed. And I'm going to go and check on the progress. Hey, he wants to say hi of how my boyfriend is doing installing the sub floor in room C. How is it going? Good. Wow. All right, people. Eugene fell asleep. My boyfriend is still outside installing the sub floor in room C. He may finish tonight, but he may not finish tonight. He's getting really tired, so he may have to finish tomorrow morning. Our friends are coming over tomorrow morning again to help us continue our construction project. I, as you can see, have taken off my dress and I'm only wearing this pajama shirt that I was wearing under my dress. So I am now going to go to sleep. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos, and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Good night.